Surrounded by people and their noise, I sat alone. The din drowned out my racing thoughts, and for a few moments my breathing slowed and my mind cleared. Who knew peace could emerge in the middle of an uproar? It was exactly what I needed, because this didn't exactly seem like the kind of safe space you'd want to break out into a panic attack in. I've always been a victim of my own anxiety, but something mixed into the formula of the toxic-tasting drink swirling in the goblet-shaped cup on the table before me was putting me on edge. It was only a week prior that I had fallen asleep in my own bed, in a world that maybe didn't always make sense, but was the devil I knew, so to speak. No, I reminded myself. Not a week. It felt like only a week to me. But while I was inadvertently frozen and preserved, over a hundred years of advancements, galactic political intrigue, and warfare had changed everything. Earth was gone. I woke up on this planet without so much as a means to communicate. I don't know how or why I was saved or brought here, but I intend to find out. An olive-skinned alien with a silver gown and numerous face extremities dangling from their chin seemed to be approaching from across the cantina. No. I reminded myself yet again, not an alien. I'm the alien here. Seldom see Terrans in this place, they commented in a surprisingly soft, alluring voice in broken English to my shock. My brow shot up near my hairline. You speak human? I blurted in a fluster before shaking my head and correcting myself. I, I mean English?